All right, let's get into Philippians for a minute, guys. The priceless value of knowing Christ. Philippians 3. So, um, Paul, I believe, yep, Paul wrote this. And he said, um, I get I don't, I never get tired of telling you these things. Basically, rejoice in the Lord with whatever is coming your way, whatever has happened. And this is a safeguard of your faith. And it's true. Joy is our strength. The joy of the Lord. So watch out for those dogs. Those people who do evil. Okay? So those mutilators who say you must be circumcised to be safe. Saved. For we who worship by the Spirit of God are the ones who are truly circumcised. We rely on what Jesus Christ has done for us. We put no confidence in the flesh or this as human effort. Though I could have confidence in my own strength, basically, if anyone could. Indeed, if others have reason for confidence in their own effort, efforts, I have even more. So this is the way I relate to this verse, right? I think, okay, if anyone had it together, it was me. It was me. I was a favorite granddaughter. I was, you know, AB student in elementary school. My grades did go down a bit in high school, but I graduated early. Um... I was on the cheerleading team. I soccer, basketball, dance, had boys like me, lots of guys, right? If anyone looked like they had it together on the outside, it was me. And then um <clears throat> Paul goes into all these things that he did and he counts it all as garbage compared to Christ, to gain Christ and to become one with him. Um we don't have our own righteousness through our own effort. It's by our faith in Christ, then we are righteous. So remember that, guys, don't get the wagon before the horse, 